Okay, we start we're talking to uh, Marissa Aguilera, head of the final ODI against South Africa women. Uh, very important game for this team. Um, the series you're still trailing love um, love one and the rain, you know, bad luck there, you didn't get a chance to bat. Um taught us about how much how important this game, how vital um, how the team is preparing. Well it's really important to make sure that we get um, two points. Um, I believe that we have been going pretty well. Um, we fell short on the first game, but um, we did pretty well on the second game. We have been feeling extremely well. I must give credit to our players for such a wonderful performance that we have been displaying so far. So um, we are just making sure to stick to the basis. Don't make anything, you know, just fuss ourselves too much about anything. Just go out there, relax ourselves, and play the best cricket that we know to play. You're the chief motivator. What, 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 what words of motivation are you going to give to the girls um, over the next couple of hours? Well, just enjoy yourself. You know, play hard. Uh, whatever you do, just give it your best because, you know, it's always, it's always good to go out there and play hard as, as players and make sure that you give it your best. So that's all. Um, we talk about the about the bowling. Um, how, how have you found the conditions um, for these for the two matches that you've played so far? Um, the conditions has been good. Um, I must say the the second game, uh, the pitch looked so much better for batting as well. The ball was coming along pretty well. But um, for bowling, I think that the our bowlers and even our team bowlers has been hitting their targets. Um, Sh Shamilia Connell, she has been bowling extremely well. DeAndre Dotton, uh, Shakira Salman as well. So I guess um, for the seamers, it have been doing a lot. So I guess you know hopefully they can go out there for the last game and really try to make to take to full advantage of it. Um, the, the batting up though um, you, you got some concerns there how do you, how do you address that um, tomorrow how do you get things going? Well um, it was our first game I mean it's a while we haven't played 50 overs cricket so it was definitely good to get out there and see where we are as a team we have been training pretty hard you know throughout uh, the last couple months and uh, obviously things probably will not go according to plan the way we wanted it to the first game but I have full confidence that we're going to bounce back and we're going to bounce back really strong I think um, we have been really hitting all areas in our preparation so it's just to go out there and execute. You talk about that preparation, um, the, the, there's been a big investment for this year in, in training camps for you girls. How have those been going under um, your new coach, uh, Henny Springer? Well, I'm pretty pleased about it. I think um, that's one thing I love about our coach. Um, he has been really putting down his foot in lines of certain things that he wants and the board has been really um, helping him as well, you know, and giving him what he really wants because I think he have a vision and uh, the vision is to take this team to a different level and that is what he has been doing and I think that we are on the route for it. Um, and then you've got the 2020s coming up, um, how, how, how much are you looking forward to that um, as a team? Well, very much so, um, knowing that we are defending champions and right now we are preparing uh, for the T20 World Cup in the, in the Caribbean and I think um, it's going to be really good to display our talent and see where we are as a team because that area we have been really trying to see how best we can you know, move around quickly in the field because you know, T20 is quite a, a quick paced game and hopefully that we can just go out there and demonstrate good cricket for the people of the Caribbean and you know, even the people in Barbados here and in Trinidad as well. And you're looking forward to playing um, at home in Trinidad um, in the in the 40 20s that will be there. Definitely, it's always good playing on your home turf. I think a lot of people say it's a pressuring situation, but for me, I think it's more enjoyment. You know, you have your families and friends, supporters around cheering you on. So I'm looking forward for that. Thank you very much. No problem. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it.